Hey guys, Sandy Son here. I uh, recently found a nice little bike path. Check it out behind me. It's got like a little creek sort of thing. You can hear the ducks quacking in the background. It's nice and secluded, so I think I'll be filming here more often because normally I'm just kind of afraid of you know people just walking by. I'm kind of well, not really camera shy per se, just shy of people knowing that I'm using a camera. It's a nice little locale. I'm also learning to uh, move the camera further away from me so you can see stuff behind me as opposed to just, you know, my big old head all the time. I'm still kind of getting used to holding it out quite this far, so we're going to take baby steps and hold it about this far. But when I got off work a couple days ago, I decided to read a little bit of this book called The 4-Hour Workweek by uh, Tim Ferriss. I was really interested in it. If any of you know me personally, I'm, I just detest working long hours just for a measly paycheck, considering the amount of time that I put into it. So I've been constantly researching new ways to make money without having to work so long and so much. Did the whole thing with AdSense, but if you've been following my site for a period of time, you know kind of how that went. I earned about almost like 100, 150 bucks in the first month. That was because of uh, illegal clicks. Yeah, that really didn't turn out so well for me in the end. Uh, same thing happened with Kintera. Kintera actually happened first. Then, you know, I decided to post about what happened. So it kind of discouraged the uh, illegal clicking for AdSense for a short amount of time, but they banned me anyway. So, yeah, it really sucks because AdSense is considered, you know, the number one tool for uh, bloggers to uh, monetize their websites. Them's the breaks, I guess. Um, and there's other ways to monetize a website. I mean, you could do, you know, I could recommend, you know, such and such service or such and such products, get like a commission, you know, things like that. Those could be fun. Currently, my website doesn't pull in enough traffic for me to leverage those sorts of things. So right now, I have to uh, rely on uh, quality content. My main problem right now is that my content jumps from one topic to another. Like, most successful blogs rely on like a niche or they have like a certain focus. Well, my focus, you know, it's a personal blog, basically. If I tell that to pro bloggers, they just, you know, laugh in my face. They're like, dude, you, you know, you got to go niche. You got to either talk nothing about AdSense or talk nothing about personal development or just, you know, stick with the topic and just, you know, never stray away from it. But, you know, I just find that to be boring. Although I do see their point. I mean, sometimes the reader can get a little disoriented. You know, if he goes, he or she goes to my site, you know, looking up anime and all I'm talking about is, you know, crap that happened with my brother or hey I lost my dog something about personal development things like that then they're like you know well, what's this guy doing you know posting on you know an anime blog you know if he's not talking about anime all the time and you know the simple fact is that you know I have too many interests you know I want to talk about too many things at once it's hard for me to you know stick with one topic throughout an entire post because you know I tend to treat posts kind of like the news you know you talk about one subject you know like fire kills 11 people, such and such, blah, blah, blah. Then in other news, you know, Miracle Kitten saves, you know, the library or something like that. Honestly, that's kind of how I treated my blogs, you know, since day one. Even, you know, back in the old uh, GeoCities Anja page, I've always treated my blogs in almost like a news style format where I greet the audience, you know, with like a hello, hey, sup, you know, it's a handy son here with whatever, some kind of witty comment. A lot of people kind of got annoyed by the whole, you know, it's the Andy's on her. I guess they didn't think I was black enough or something. So I decided to stop doing that. I do kind of like introducing myself for once in a while, but since, you know, I got my own site, it's, it's kind of, you know, moot to do things like that, because if you're going to theandyson.com, you know who's going to be blogging. It's going to be the Andyson. There's not going to be, you know, some other weird person blogging on my site, because, you know, it's a personal blog. I could do that. I could, you know, hire guest bloggers, but I feel at this time it's not really necessary. Classic example of me, you know, hopping from topic to topic, I completely lost track of what I was talking about, which was uh, monetizing my website. Now, obviously, the whole AdSense, Kintera thing didn't work out. Right now, I'm running stuff like AdBright, Chickada. Chickada is actually earning me a little bit of money. Now, by little, I'm not talking about 10 bucks, 20 bucks, or even 100 bucks. I'm talking like, you know, maybe 10 cents a day. Now, that's being generous, so that's actually exaggerating. It's slowly beginning to build me some kind of income. Obviously, I can't live off of 10 cents a day. That's beginning to build steel but I need something else that'll help generate me income because obviously even you know the big name sites like Steve Pavlina 
and Jolcom, they they don't you know just use AdSense. They use you know a variety of products. AdSense and Kintera and all those just happen to be you know parts you know of their streams of income. They rely on multiple streams of income instead of just you know one. They do you know some joint venturing. Steve does uh, public speaking. He has a variety of sources of income. I read a little bit of the Four Hour Work Week by uh, Tim Ferriss. I thought it was, you know, really interesting. I only read like the first 30, 33 pages because I didn't want to spend, you know, all night at Walmart, and I didn't have 16 bucks to spare to buy it. Even though I, currently I have a little under 800 in the bank right now, but you know, I'm trying to, you know, not frivolously spend so much so that way I can get a car before snowfall, which is my goal. But anyway, I read uh, the book by Tim Ferriss, 4-Hour Work Week. I thought it was really interesting and in how he kind of outlined outsourcing what he does, you know, in order to earn income so that way he can do what he wants to do instead of doing, you know, what he has to do for income, which, you know, is my main philosophy because ideally I want to do what I want to do in life, you know, when I want to do it. I don't want to, you know, be like, oh, well, it's, it's almost six o'clock. I got to get ready for work. So sorry, guys, I can't hang out with you. You know, I don't, I don't want my life to end up like that. You know, I don't want to, to mold my life around my work. Have to be like, well, I can't meet you guys because, you know, I got to work on this project. Or, you know, I got you know, to gotta come into work, you know, when you get off 10, 11 o'clock. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. And uh, some people, you know, they're fine working for a living, but, you know, I'm not one of those people. I don't want to uh, have to go in day in and day out doing something that I don't enjoy doing. Yeah, honestly, I, I really don't enjoy being a cashier at Walmart. I think it's, it's very tedious, it's very boring, and I feel very replaceable. And I am. See, that's kind of the goal with my life is, you know, I want to be, you know, indispensable. I don't want to, you know, just quit doing something and, you know, you know, just can't say, okay, you know, next. If I stop something, it has, you know, an effect. Like I said before, I don't even want a job, period. You know, I want to be able to earn income passively, whether it be through, you know, ads on my blog, joint venture products, where, you know, I just plug some guy's product or service for a post, let it sit out there and earn, you know, income that way, or, you know, a variety of other means. But, you know, I basically don't want to have to work for a living. That's, you know, that's my goal. After reading uh, the 4-Hour Workweek, I decided to uh, pursue this uh, little project I have. It's going to be a, a guitar blog, an all-guitar blog. No, you know, weird, wacky posts that aren't guitar. Yeah, I decided to get on, you know, hop on the whole niche train. It's like, okay, just talk about nothing but guitars. It's going to be called, uh, tentatively, it's going to be called uh, theshred.com. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, more shred guitar oriented. That's not to say that it's going to be all shred guitar. It's just mostly going to be shred guitar. So you're going to see artists, you know, you're going to see artists like, you know, Marty Friedman, Paul Gilbert, Zach Wilde, Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, those kind of guys. But that's not to say, you know, I'll show nothing but those kinds of guys. You know, I might highlight, you know, classic players, whether it's the, you know, been beaten to death players like Jimmy Page, Eddie Van Halen, or it's, you know, up-and-coming people that, you know, I might not even know about at the time. I want to outsource pretty much all the work involved in the shred.com, whether including its design, the majority of its posts. Basically, the only thing I want to do, you know, where I have to actually do some work would be, you know, maybe some decisions and content posting, maybe some design, you know, I obviously, you know, help design it, but I don't actually do the work. I outsource all my work to people in other countries, kind of what uh, Tim Ferriss was talking about in his book, 4-Hour Workweek. So I wanted to see how that went. Now, obviously, it's going to take some money because I'm not doing everything in order to uh, make this work. But I feel that with, you know, professionals who actually, you know, know what they're doing, I'll have a better chance at being able to monetize it. Basically, the idea of the shred.com is uh, going to be based off of a uh, site called blabbermouth.net. It's not going to be... Uh, you know, open, open sourced like uh, Wikipedia. It's going to have, you know, the people that I outsource pulling in uh, press reports and things like that from labels and actually going out and doing some research. Now, what I will do, being the final say on everything that goes on with that site, I plan on doing interviews 
with uh, various artists. Posting them up as videos would be, you know, something else that I can monetize, whether it be through things like Rever.com or I want to get The Shred as a uh, publicized magazine, which I think would be, you know, pretty kick-ass. But uh, I talked to John about it, and he says, well, you know, it's, you know, you won't make a lot, a lot of money off of it. But my whole thing is, you know, it's not that I want to make a lot of money. You know, I don't want to necessarily be rich for riches, for being rich's sake. I want to be able to have money I can actually do stuff with instead of just, you know, having money. Because, I mean, you get a lot of rich people out there who, you know, work and work and work and work to death literally sometimes and you know they have all these millions of dollars and all these really nice cars and the nice house and all that stuff but they're too busy working to enjoy it that's the reason i want to set up you know these passive streams of income so that way i have the time to enjoy what i'm pulling in whether or not i become a millionaire or not you know is irrelevant i want to at least have enough money to be able to reasonably support myself, you know, have enough to at least, you know, pay rent on an apartment, pay off all my expenses, and have a little bit of spending money on the side. That would be, well, not really ideal, but that would be, that's what I at least want. I at least want enough money to be able to pay off anything more, you know, it's just great, you know. If I get enough money to buy a new or a nicer car, but I don't necessarily need, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars, as long as I have the freedom to do what I want with those, with, you know, the money that I have. That's not necessarily, I'm not trying to say that, you know, I want to be poor all my life and live in an apartment. You know, I obviously want to move up in the world, but, okay, let, let me just kind of rephrase this whole thing. Okay, basically, my goal is to generate income passively through my websites, so that way I don't have to work, I don't have to spend, you know, gobs and gobs of time, whether it be doing work that I don't like, like Walmart or whatever, or working too much on the sites. If I want to sleep all day, if I want to putz around and watch TV, I can watch TV. I don't have to, you know, look at the clock and like, oh shit, I gotta go to work at six, you know, I gotta wrap this up. That's basically my goal. Now, I see that this video has gone on for a ridiculously long time, and the battery hasn't gone dead yet, so that's, that's kind of a plus. In conclusion, I'm going to be a uh, working on a uh, guitar blog called uh, theshred.com. It's going to be focused mostly on uh, shred guitar oriented artists, as well as, you know, maybe classic artists. I'm going to try to outsource as much as I can from it, except for doing interviews, post those interviews as uh, vlogs, whether it be on YouTube, Rever, googlevideo.com, whatever, or just post them directly, I don't know, and uh, begin to uh, monetize the site and make a living off of it, as well as getting help from uh, my personal blog, mainly, you know, better setting it up, finding better ad networks or things that would, you know, better drive, get me money through my personal blog, as well as through the shred.com. I also have ideas for a bunch of other blogs, too, like even the current other blog that I have, which I haven't paid too much attention to pretty much since I put it up, was uh, spicymelon.com. Spicymelon.com was supposed to be, you know, according to the description, an online uh, cookbook for the eccentric and poor. And what I wanted to do was put up recipes that were cheap, easy, and or off the wall. You know, it's good for college students, bachelors who don't know how to cook anything, moms who want to, you know, cook stuff with their kids but are afraid of them getting burned, or a recipe that's too complicated or needs weird fancy ingredients or whatever. I also wanted to do a blog called uh, itsthemoon.com where it'd basically be a picture blog and I would post uh, one picture of the moon every day. I was waiting until I got a camera to get this and now that I do, I have the ability to do that but the problem is this camera doesn't do very well, you know, as far as night shots go. I'll probably have to, you know, wait longer until you know, I get a camera that can better handle night shots and can photograph the moon every night because, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of locales around here that that uh, I want to photograph the moon off of, especially since, you know, we got the lake. Pretty much, moon plus lake equals awesome. So, I mean, I could photograph from pretty much anywhere. As long as, like, the lake or something like that is in the picture, then, I mean, I'm golden. 